Hi everyone, in this video I want to go over an amazing book. So I'll be honest, I just got this book a few days ago and I love it. It is so good. It's called Advanced Engineering Mathematics by Erwin Kreisig. And so what happened was uh, I made a book review and someone suggested this book. And as soon as I saw the author's last name, I thought, oh my God, I have his functional analysis book. Let me pick this book up. So I got it a few days ago and it is just awesome. I was gonna you know, work through it some more before making this video, but I just can't wait. This book is so good and let's talk about why. So here is the inside cover. This is a really old school book. So apparently it was originally published in 1962 and this is the seventh printing in 1966. I don't even know what printing they're on now. And this book is still being used because uh, one of the comments said that they were using this in their class. So, I mean, it has survived the test of time. This book is awesome. Here is the preface. The purpose of the book. This book is intended to introduce students of engineering and physics to those fields of mathematics which, from the modern point of view, seem to be the most important in connection with practical problems. Yeah, and the author is just so good. Kreisig is such a good writer. I, I don't know... I don't know much about him, I just know I have his functional analysis book, uh, but seriously good stuff here. This is the table of contents. It starts off with a review of some topics from algebra and calculus. It talks about elementary functions, partial derivatives, second and third order determinants, complex numbers, all kinds of really good stuff. It has answers too to a lot of the uh, questions, which is really, really nice. Then it goes into ordinary differential equations of the first order. Tons of stuff here. I mean, that's a lot of DE stuff right there. So if you've already taken DE and you're picking up this book, it's awesome. You're like, yeah, I remember how to do that. So like, it's a really good book. It even smells good. And the pages are such good quality. Here it keeps going. Talks about circuits and more DE stuff. Lots of DEs. Lots of really good stuff. A lot of applications and things that you may not have seen in a regular DE course. More on circuits power series solutions of DEs, all kinds of stuff. Goes into Laplace transforms, talks about a lot of stuff here too. I mean, pretty thorough. Then it goes on to vector analysis, nice change of pace. I love the variety of topics in this book. I think that's what makes it so exciting. Here the author talks about line and surface integrals, tangent planes, Stokes theorem, matrices and determinants all kinds of good stuff Fourier series and integrals a lot of applied math stuff it's really really good I'm really happy I got this book because uh, I really am looking forward to reading some of these sections and I'll show you some of the ones I've already looked at in a few minutes uh, they've been really really good keeps going just so many topics I mean it's so intense complex integrals Taylor and Laurent series so if you've taken complex variables or if you're going to take it this is great because you learn this in a complex variables course I mean that's why I learned this as, as a math student uh, I learned Laurent series in my complex variables course and residues but yet here it is in this advanced engineering book conformal mapping again something you would see in a complex variables course some more specialized topics here, and then some more specialized topics at the end. And it has answers to odd number problems. Extremely good for self-study. This is page three of the book. It talks about the inverse of e to the x is the natural logarithm ln x. Really useful stuff to know. I mean, you probably already know this, but he just jumps into it, gives all the familiar formulas for the natural log, gives the most important identities, I mean, he just gives you everything you really need, and he does it right away. Then he talks about sine and cosine. It's just such a good refresher. Talks about what it means for a function uh, to be even, what it means for a function to be odd. That's a really good way to memorize the power series for, uh, for sine and cosine. Cosine is an even function, so it has only even powers of x. In its power series, sine is odd, so it has only odd powers. So really useful stuff, like the stuff you need to know uh, in math. And then it talks about the most popular identity in the world. There it is. Sine squared plus cosine squared is one. So all review type material, but he talks about the important stuff and he does it in such a clean way. 
Uh, really, really good work. Here he talks about some trig identities and derives some of them from other ones and tells you how to do it. And he does it all like in one page, like he just really concise and, you know, so it kind of leaves a little bit to you, but he gives you the main ideas all right there in, in one page. Right here, the other trig functions are defined by the identities just right away, you know, really direct and to the point, which is what you need at this level. You know, if you're using this for a course or for self-study, uh, it's, it's done right. He does a great job. The exercises are at the right level, too, so you could read the book and do most of the exercises on your own. Then you can actually check your answers because there are answers in the back of the book. This makes this an extremely good book for self-study. Uh, I really wonder if this is a popular book uh, still today. I don't know. Um, I will try to find a link on Amazon after I make this uh, video and see if it's there. Like, see if I can find a newer copy, see if people are still using it, see if there's reviews for this book. Uh, I think it's awesome. So this is the answer section. So you can see that he does actually provide answers to the odd numbered problems, which is really, really, really useful. I mean, that is just so valuable especially when you're learning mathematics. I know a lot of higher level math books don't have solutions and people sometimes make arguments like, oh, you know, it's better that way because you have to figure it out on your own. Well, I personally think it's better to have the answers and you can choose to figure it out on your own if you want to. You can always look at the back of the book for a little bit of help when you get stuck. It's always better to have a choice. So I think it's always better to have the choice to have the answers so that when you do get stuck, you can look in the back of the book. This is one of the sections on vector analysis. Here he talks about the directional derivative and the gradient. So there's a cool uh, illustration there. And he does a really good job. And it's really consistent with what you would see in a calculus course. The notation might be a little bit different, but uh, it's very consistent with, with what you would see in a regular calculus three uh, course. And most people who are reading this book have probably already had calculus three. I would venture to, to assume that uh, a prereq for someone taking a course using this book would be, you know, calc one, calc two, calc three, and maybe some differential equations. Kreisig actually reviews matrix multiplication. I mean, he goes over everything. This book has so much math. It is such a good book, and you can probably get it for, for just a few dollars. I mean, it is amazing how much math is in this book. And I think I really like this book because it has so many different topics. Again, the book is Advanced Engineering Mathematics, and I think the biggest pro of this book is that it has so many topics. There are so many topics in this book. You've got differential equations, you have calculus, you have linear algebra, you have complex variables, you have series. I mean, there's just so much in this book and you can get it for only a few dollars. I mean, this book should be worth thousands of dollars in my view. I mean, there's so much good stuff in here. And Kreisig does such a good job delivering all this information. Advanced Engineering Mathematics by Erwin Kreisig. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you really want to help out, consider becoming a member of the channel. Until next time, take care.